On the 19th of June 2012, the Australian government finally addressed the ongoing issue of having an R18 rating for video games. Many games have been banned by the Australian Classification Board. These decisions have been made by a small number of people that every Australian has to live by. This is the story of one of those games. In 2009, Risen, a single-player role-playing game developed by a German company, Piranha Bytes, and produced by Deep Silver, was refused classification in Australia. You control the nameless hero who, after being washed up in a shipwreck, sets out to investigate the Inquisition and ancient temples to thwart the destruction of the island. The Australian Classification Board refused to be interviewed. Instead, they provided this document. It explains why they denied Risen classification. First, in regards to the game's drug use, explicit use of a drug known formally as Brugelweed, and that it mirrors an illegal real-world drug in its terminology. Secondly, they refer to the game's sexual content. The game contains quests, which a player may choose to complete by acquiring the sexual services of prostitutes. They advise, however, that it is not a necessary element and that it's given discreet treatment. It is important to consider whether or not drugs are depicted as a reward or incentive in the game. So it's crucial to look at how drugs are involved in Risen. I have some Bruegel weed for you. Good job. Here's your goal. Um, definitely got no problem with it. Obviously, you know, it should be glorified too much. Um, there should be consequences shown for the use of drugs. It's always been in there but it just hasn't been called drugs, really. They've just been, like, boosts and things like that, or XP boosts or whatever. But you can always relate that to being, well, like a drug, really. You have movies, especially, you know, the 70s, 80s, 90s, where drug use is condoned. At level zero, you will gain only 4.6% of a level for using the drug and 0.6% for uses thereafter. In general play, you will not encounter or use the drug until level 4, at which point it will be 0.46% initially and 0.06% for each consecutive use. This is GTA Chinatown Wars for the Nintendo DS rated MA15+. Chinatown Wars gives the player the ability to buy and sell drugs to earn colossal amounts of money used to buy weapons. Unlike Risen, all of the drugs use their real names, cocaine, heroin, downers, acid, marijuana, and ecstasy. Why is Risen treated so differently? The other major reason provided by the Australian Classification Board was the use of sex in the game as a reward. The reward to use sex not only is optional, or has to be sought out, but there are, in fact, no explicit sex scenes. Did I take you to a few places you've not seen before? Yeah, you could say that. In recent years, there have been many examples of sexually explicit content and references in video games that have been granted classification and release in Australia. As long as it's not put in there just sort of in an exploitive way, um, you know, more in a way of like, this is progressing the storyline, this is building relationships with the characters. I think, you know, we get so, so caught up in all of these ideas of, you know, abstinence and just teaching, teaching young people just to avoid sex entirely. They're trying to, I guess, inform people that you know, this isn't the right thing to watch and stuff, which I think is pretty much wrong there. Just assume that people are idiots and that they'll just uh, take whatever they see on the screen, take it as fact. Gothic 2, developed by the creators of Risen, Piranha Bytes, was released in 2002. Gothic 2 also has a non-explicit sex scene and Swampweed, used for quests and rewards.
Would this package of swamp weed happen to be yours? Not only was Gothic 2 classified in Australia, it was rated yes. M. This more than anything highlights the ambiguity of the system. It does increase obviously pirating. Um, I know they made a lot out of consoles recently, so obviously importing comes into that. The perception of the Australian games market and industry that gets hurt in incidents like this and sort of video games in general are damaged by having incidents like this. People will get them, get things if they're banned. Um, so I think really it's just sort of taking money outside of Australia once again totally. And um, yeah, definitely leading to more piracy 